Today's project is a one piece reeded jar. There are many styles of reeded jar. This is a one piece style. This one piece is unique because normally the reed and the jar are made separately to fit together. This jar is made as one pot, then separated into two parts later. It's a fun method. I use a small throwing bat for this, as it's easy to handle after throwing. Six hundred grams stoneware clay. I open the center hole. I want to keep the outside dimension, so my left hand supports the outside when my right fingers are pulling the clay towards me. The first pull is gentle. I'm just trying to make an even surface. The second pull can be much stronger. My right ring finger is the key to bringing the bottom clay up. Both thumbs are connected. I try to keep one shape with both hands, then pull this one unit up to the top. I pull one last time from the inside with a wooden stick so I can clean the internal wall at the same time. This jar needs reasonable thickness, so I can trim the gallery for the lid to rest on. I mark the line one third down from the top this is the start line for squeezing. When the clay starts to become thick, I pull the clay up again. This part becomes the lid, so it is fine to make it thinner. It's better to aim to pull up rather than pull in. If I try to make a dome shape at this point, the pot will collapse. It's better to aim for mountain shape. I use just my left hand to support the wall and push the clay up with the right middle finger. I start to close the top now. I need patience here. I repeat the same action.
I use my little finger to support the top of the wall from the inside. My right little finger is closing the top from the outside. I shape the straight wall. You can modify the shape of this part to your preference. But until you get used to this method, I recommend you practice with a straight wall. I use a plastic card to make gentle curves. The air is trapped inside, so I can compress the clay well. Now I'm going to separate the lid and the body. I use the end of a chopstick to cut into the clay. I rest my arm on the wheel tray edge to keep my hand steady. I make holes for air ventilation, otherwise the jar will crack during the drying time. I'm trimming the bottom corner for a string cut guide. For trimming, I wet the bottom of the jar and attach to the wheel. I press the clay onto the wheel with a stick to make the attachment firmer. I scrape the lid and the body's side wall together. I shape and polish the top with a metal kidney. I'm going to separate the lid and the body with a scalpel. My middle finger is touching the lid all the time to keep a straight, steady position. Finally, the lid and the body are separated. I'm trimming the lid edge. I use a milk carton cap to rest my fingers on. Then I can spread the pressure so as not to break the top of the lid. This part is very thin and weak, so I use my fingers to compress the lid catch. I'm going to make a gallery for the body. This is why I throw the wall reasonably thick.
I'll keep the bottom flat for this pot. No internal footing this time. The metal kidney is good for this. After I scrape the bottom, I can lower the angle of the metal kidney, then it will not scrape the clay anymore, but it will polish the bottom. I polish the corner also, it is for chipping protection.